Sorry, I'm the director of health services, University of Lagos State University. So many people have come to ask for blood. So many people are asking for face masks. One, you do not need to put on the face masks. Two, you do not need to put on wearing gloves. It is um, one of those common viruses that cause what we call the common flu. But this particular one is called Nova. In terms of, it is new. It has never you know, occurred in humans. It is something that happens. The virus you know, affects animals, from animal to animal. But this is the first time it's crossing from the animals to human. Because it's a pandemic now. Pandemic means it's all about the world. Virus, it 
it's a droplet infection. That is, if somebody coughs on because you are coughing into the air without covering your mouth, or you cough into your hands and use the same hand to touch your face or so on somebody else. Of course, you use that same hand to touch some, you know, usually the handle the the surfaces. Because if you cough now, you're likely to drop. You know, when it eventually drops, it's going to be on surfaces. And touch that surface. And you now use the same hand to touch your face. You're likely to be, to be infected. That's why we are talking about keeping you know, social distances of one meter. Apart. So that even if there's somebody coughs and he forgets to cover his mouth with a tissue paper or coughing into his elbow, you will know that when it drops, to eventually drop and you have your that meter away, meter away from that person, you don't like it to be infected. And of course, practicing what we call the hand wash. So basically the way it is transmitted is when an infected person coughs or sneezes or even talks sometimes because even if we talk and so these are some of the areas where That you keep your hand clean, either by washing thoroughly and regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Then, with the use of a sanitizer, if you don't really you know there's no water or soap around you, that's one. Secondly, when you cough or sneeze, do it into a tissue paper. This is why you cover, use a tissue paper to cover your mouth and lips, and dispose that tissue paper properly, so that somebody else does not get get infected through the tissue paper. What scenario? You don't have tissue paper with you, and you want to cough or sneeze, cough into your hair, like like I'm doing. It is believed that at least that is not going on to your. What we are advising to not to do is to cough into their bare hands. That's number two. Number three, avoid touching your face with your unwashed hands. Because that's another thing people you know, we all get used to it. You are touching one part of your face or the other. So avoid doing that. You know, be conscious of it. Not to touch your face with your washed hands. Then maintain what is called social distance. Mentioned earlier, maintaining a meter or one and a half meters away, avoiding gatherings. I'm sure you know what the government has done in the last year, especially the state government. Now we have a form of a, you know a restriction sort of markets. Schools have been shut down. Uh, markets have been shut down. Even workers at a certain level have been told to sit at home. These are some of the measures that will assist us to prevent the spread of this uh, disease in Nigeria. We have it already. You know, almost every state is now having one or two cases. So this is the right time to do whatever it is that government has done you know, and join us to do. Tightness in the chest or cannot breathe properly, becomes breathless. These are some of the symptoms. Somebody no, of course, develop the fact. It will come, start like a common cold, you know, that sore throat. Of course, in, these symptoms also should be somebody that has had contact. Contact is the sense of somebody that has traveled to some of those countries where these diseases have been so, you know, I'm talking about countries like China, USA, United Kingdom, Iran, you know, any other country. Japan, about 13 other. Ten countries have been the Nigerian government has even shut down, you know, flights to some of these countries, and we can also receive flights from those countries. These are measures put in place to ensure that we don't have a spread. Most of the cases that we've had so far, as, as today, are people that have traveled abroad or people that have had contact with people. But we don't want a situation where it becomes community you know, transmission. That's why all these measures don't put in place. We need to adhere to them. 
so that we don't begin to have a serious system and crisis. And it was already a crisis state all over the country. It was already affecting politics, politics affecting you know, games, it's affecting the economy of the world. Because with this happening, one thing I firstly I want to pass across is this. The state government gave a direct that uh, civil servants within a certain grade should sit at home and maintain their social distance. Our management, Lagos State University management, of course, very proactive. You know, administration of our uh, uh, referred and uh, respected uh, VC, Professor Larivadu at the SAN, MPON, has also you know, immediately given a directive that staff within that, you know, CADA should be at all. But I want our people to take it as serious. Let them adhere to that directive. To stay at home. It is not the time for to go visiting. Because some people have said it as an opportunity to go visit friends. We need to take it as a social obligation now to prevent the spread of this disease. Sit at home and maintain that social distance. Secondly, the issue of the gloves that you brought up. So many people have come to ask for gloves. So many people are asking for face masks. As we speak today, there is no need, if it, the people, okay, one, you do not need to put on a face mask. Two, you do not need to put on wearing gloves. You don't need to. The measures are effective as uh, the things I mentioned earlier. Regular and thorough hand washing. Do it as often as possible. If you do not have access to water, use a power based sanitizer. The only person that requires a face mask is the person that is coughing. Someone that has symptoms. You begin to cough, you are meant to use it. Correctly use the face mask to protect others. You know, there's a, there are two parts of the, so, uh, the face mask. Again, when you see people use it, they, they are, most people are using it wrongly. There's a white part and a blue part. The proof I even notice is trans is uh, like uh, uh, waterproof. That should be the one outside. The soft part, which is the white part, should be the one to your own side, to your and, and wear it properly. You've seen people, I've seen people wearing you know the face mask, not covering their nose. Some will hang it around their neck. Those are wrong shoes. But again, like I said earlier, if you are not coughing and you don't have symptoms, you do not need to use the face mask and you are not an health worker. The health worker find you within the facility that is attending to patients and suspects, you know, is meant to use it. But not everybody out there. Then the use of the use of the use of the hand gloves too. It's so important that by the time you keep on, you know, when you wear the hand gloves, when it's on the history, you're actually transmitting Gems to others, you're probably trying to protect yourself, but at the same time, you are helping to transmit the jam from one person or the other because everybody th that touches you or you touch, you're you know giving one or two jams to that person, and you're like giving it out to every other. Or the surfaces that you also touch, you are also helping to spread jams to those surfaces. So, this is the reason why we said strictly, you do not need to use face masks, you do not use to it, you still need to use hand gloves. Imagine somebody who pump in an angle, turns the handle, the door handle. You have, you know, there's a jam you have already you know, deposited there. You go to another place, you open another door, you are spreading jams. And somebody else comes around that is not wearing gloves, opens that same door. It's getting, you know, transmitting. So we don't want you to use your glove to transmit jams all over. What we have advised is regular and thorough hand washing with soap and water or the use of alcohol based sanitizer. On that too, the issue of alcohol based sanitizer, I think I also want to pass this message. 
that you see this is the time that every individual needs to be responsible for his or her health we have always tried to make people get conscious of that fact that you need to be health conscious you need to, you need to be the manager of your health you need to be aware of some of the health issues that you have so in this regard now I also advise our listeners to get hand sanitizers for their personal use. Again, I'll go back to the management. The management has, has been very proactive. Immediately, the world has got the first case in Nigeria. They provided fund for us to procure sanitizers to distribute around the university. We also got the refill type. Of course, they cannot go round. You just have to work within the resources that is available. So that's why I'm passing this message. We need to also try to, you know, say, uh, you know, invest in some of these things to protect yourself. Now it's becoming a social responsibility to pro begin to protect ourselves. So these are some of the areas I want to really emphasize: the use of right use of hand gloves. I mean, the uh, right use of face mask and hand gloves. I've said it's not necessary. If you are not coughing, you don't have any symptoms, you do not use. It. You don't need to use the face mask. You don't need to wear the gloves, hand gloves. You don't need it. Just do hand washing. Then the aspect of um, staying at home, please adhere. Because again, I mentioned it earlier that people now see this as an opportunity to go visiting. Let us see it as our own social obligation to break the spread of these diseases. So that when you, uh, uh, of course, if you have traveled out of the country to any of those countries stay at home at least for the next 14 days within that period you will know of course you come down with one if you are actually being infected and if you are infected there's a number to call let's see any cdc has released a number zero is zero zero is thousand corona zero, if you can remember at least that's easy enough to remember zero zero eight thousand corona so that we all do what each and every one of us need to do at our individual levels to help break the spread of this pandemic. All right, sir. <clears throat>